welcome back to cnc equipment youtube channel we are off site this week we are down in bushnell florida at the uh 2024 line auction i kind of do a preview and check out some stuff we'll probably have another video coming out later this week or so on uh, actual auction footage and what all we bought and all that good stuff so cruising around just doing a little preliminary check see what we got going on a bunch of link belts Brand new Hondas again. Any excavators, as we know, they don't have any warranty on them no more since they're at auction. Yeah, I wonder if they got them advertised that way. stretched out. trailer <laughs>
How many? 682, it's brand new. Seven thousand miles. Tandem. That's a head of moose. Itachi. That's a big one. 2,000 hours. Huh. Cost a couple dollars to move in. Yeah. You to put together. 336 cats. 335. That's a new number. No, that's a zero turn. Zero turn. Same little size. little zero tracks. Turn. 335 with the blade. Good stuff over here. <laughs> Back in the day. That's a 200 minute there. Yeah. Huber Grader. Maintainer. Make a one 
35 now. So is that 135 horse or what is it? Yeah. Kevin. D-A-T. Uh, that's not like again. No. Brand new D6s. Been in the come from overseas. See the stickers on them? Uh -huh. What's the D6s? What size is it? D6. We got overseas. Yeah, these are made in France. I wonder what uh, parts and warranty situation is on those. Hell, cats got plants all over Belgium, France, everywhere. I wonder if they support that though. Oh, I bet they do. Those, all these new dozers are from France, not made in Peoria, Illinois. Definitely want to do some research before you go buying those. These are all from overseas. EPA stickers on them. Yeah. It's got emissions on it. A lot of words over there that aren't in English. Smells new. Made in France. Now that's, yeah, D5. 17B. Interesting. Curious to know if you can get parts or. I doubt the warranty would be any good on those. Somebody might know more about that than I do. But if you're looking at one of these, you definitely want to uh, do your research. That one's made in France too. So this one here, I can tell it's American Dozer. This one's made in Brazil. The thing's made in Brazil. Brazil. It's crazy. These. I thought were all made in Illinois, but maybe not. Very interesting. made in Brazil just because it says caterpillar on it don't mean it's made in the USA I guess this is interesting 
danger zone. So these have pyramid pads on them, made for super swampy conditions. D3, that's the old D5 size. That's a D5. So this is the old D3. That's D3. Yeah. They don't look that much different in size. See, this one's made in the USA. Old D1. Gotta be careful these are older machines somebody's painting them up put the uh newer style stickers on them it looks like can't believe what the stickers say all the time a bunch of Toyota forklifts yeah, yeah. head banger do i'm actually looking at one of these little lists for myself maybe a couple others to update some stuff we got so we'll kind of do some inspections on these first thing you want to look at in these little electric lifts see how old the batteries are the batteries are pretty good cost if they don't have the uh numbers tagged out of them a lot of times there's a number on the side of them for the year over here this is the batteries in these things last three or four years or so it depends how you take care of them and charge them up all that stuff 
So this lift is sitting here, has no controller on it, so that's something you want to stay away from. We got a controller sitting on the side of this one. Looks like it's dead. Batteries are no good. No power. Uh -uh. I don't usually buy any that's dead, not working, because you just don't know there's a lot of stuff to go wrong with them. Put that down and move the. I got one here. It's actually got juice in it. You gotta hold your green button down first. Cut off that. And hold that down now. got 20 23 batteries in it oh if you see these numbers on the side of them that 19 stands for 19 foot how high that platform goes up and the 30 is how wide it is so it's 30 inches wide and goes up 19 foot that's the uh Platforms spread out all right. Put your foot on that. Yep. That one ought to be a good one. We'll write it down. Flight class number 94, Brando City. couple little snorkelers I think I bought three in total and uh, well, this is like day what is this, day seven six or seven I think this is Friday the sale started on Saturday so did buy some forklifts and they're picked up already I'll try to stick a picture in here but I bought I bought two of these Heelys and I bought Three new Toyotas just like this one here. I did bid on this one. This one had a little bit of a lifter tick in it when we first started up, but uh, they're already loaded up. We might go over the dock and make sure they're not sitting over there, but we've got a bunch of dozers and excavators are all selling today, so we gotta go check a bunch of those out. All right, so all these bulldozers are selling today. I got a guy up here spraying clear coat on them right before they sell here in an hour or so. Got dew on them and everything else he's spraying right over. Better be water based. <laughs> it's gotta be water based. <laughs> He's just a spray. It's crazy. I mean, they're all wet with dew on them. Water based, surely. They make water based clear, they better be. I don't know. You guys see these? I know you can't see it, but that's water. It's on all these machines yet. And he's spraying right over it. Kevin would be proud of him. Sitting there looking at excavators. Pretty nice 350 link belt, but I noticed as soon as I pulled up, you guys probably can't see it, but there's a buckle in the boom. Sucked in on the sides and bulged out. This side bulged out, the front side's straight. Of course, the metal's there, bigger here. Somebody on the internet will probably buy that and won't know that, but that is definitely a weak spot. Somebody's been doing something they shouldn't have, so you guys can see that. Hard to see in the pictures. It's 
that's why I come down and look at these things in person. So we're gonna keep checking these out. So you guys don't know these link belts are made by a company called Sumato. They actually make the case excavator too. Look right here, made by Sumato. That's how they make case and link belt. Really good machines, got Azuzu diesels in them. Check out this lead beer. I've never been on one of these, at least not these new ones. Low on oil. She'll start. Whatever not got right. Park brake. it's halfway smooth it'll be interesting to uh, take one of these out and run them just finding the parts and support is the uh, issue and a big roomy cab and four cylinder in it it's halfway simple
Right at this 250 long reach, something you want to look for on these things is the uh, booms. Make sure they're not cracked or been welded on. This one looks pretty clean. So you're looking extra, this is something you don't see every day. I've actually never seen one on this big of a machine. This is like a 200 size Hitachi. It's got the extendable dipper stick on it. Kind of interesting. We might fire it up, try it out. Kind of different. That's a heavy boom. I like this. We're in Sandyville. You guys know from the past. This is a big lie that's right on here. It says warranty. Until 327 or 25. It even says it in the book. As uh I'm trying to find it. So you guys know, that is a lie. There's no warranty on any sanding machine that goes through auction, whether it's brand new or used or what. The warranty is voided. So make sure you're aware of that, because there's a lot of new, like new sanding machines. There's no warranty on any of them, so buyer beware. All right, been checking out all these little John Deere dozers here. We got some dandies here. This is the very last stuff that sells tonight at dark. This one uh, is a little, a little worse for. I like this uh, patch you put on over the cutting edge. Nice. Nice. That's like irreversible. Rough, rough, rough. Holes under the seat there. A 450K. I'm getting rougher as we go down. How many hours on this one? This one is 57.49. Well, I guess you're getting ready to write it down. Huh? 57.49. Got a pin number there, 111 it says. Hit to enter. I should start. It's 2100 hours. Huh? 2100? First to Ford, it's got a little hiccup. It's going that way a little bit. It's uh, 
cranking to the left a little bit. I might stay away from it. May not be nothing major, but. They'd beat the blade all the hell. I think the skin may look right or a bunch of bond up. I mean, that blade's rough. Yeah. Just X that one out. Could be something major. Got one more to look at. Well, 650's got a ripper on it. We can always take that ripper off and sell it for uh, extra separate if we have to. Trying to make a little extra profit. Yeah. Late arrival. Yeah. Well, not in the book. They got brought ripper. in later. Not advertised. 650K XLT. Them. We got a number here, Blazing blade. A little bit in that upper cylinder. Nothing too bad. Make sure the ripper works. Lift this off the ground. charge pressure make sure it's good transmission charge pressure is something that's really important on these dozers if you uh, see that down below 285 or so especially when they're cold right now we're sitting at 325 which is good that's what supplies the main transmission pumps but if you go through here and look at codes you see any old stored codes for that uh, pressures, you want to be careful because they may have some pumps going out of it. So this one seems pretty good. We'll check the undercarriage out. That one checked out good. You guys, want to be careful here. I've been watching this dozer the last few days. Uh, you see all these nice little shiny marks right here. See all that? That's from the wheel loader that shoved this thing into place. So. I think it runs but it does not move somebody's been in there thrashing with it but it's got some kind of issues so got to be be careful the wheel loader moved it into the spot i will say that whenever you see fork marks on something like that well, i'm at an auction and they say hey this don't work and if it runs it's going cheap or something i'll look around for fork marks see if it's been shoved into place so well they're selling big excavators we'll jump over and check some of those out and See what we end up with here. Shot is 313 and a half business. They are very low hours. Out here, a tear, 100 pound daughter go. Hydraulic tones, 100 pound daughter, name in the middle of one. 100 pound daughter, name in the middle of one. 100 pound daughter, 80. 55, 65, 65 pound daughter, name in the middle of 65, 60, no 5. 65 pound daughter, now 70 pound daughter, name in the middle of 65, 70. 70 pound, 67 and a half, 70. 70 pound daughter, 72 and a half, 72 and a half. Scott, 72 and a half, 5. 70 pound daughter, name in the middle of 75, 75, 70 pound daughter, name in the middle of 75, 75 pound daughter, name in the middle of 75. Go so five, five, takes the first one. Who wants the second one? Seventy-two half. Seventy-two and a half. You're seventy, quick, sir. Seventy-two. With a thumb. With a thumb. Seventy-two. Fifty-five. Ah, uh, fifty-five. Sixty-six. Sixty-five. Not early in the middle of fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five. Not early in the middle of fifty-five. Seven and a half. Fifty-five. Seven and a half. Fifty-five. Seven and a half. Sixty. Sixty-two and a half. Sixty-two and a half. Sixty-five. Five, six, sixty-six, 
up we're gonna head out of the uh auction here at uh the lion auction we're gonna head on down the road to the next one we appreciate everybody watching uh, 70 here i got 70 in the black 72 and a half in the back 72 five I got 70 with this gentleman up front. Tell me what I have. That's now 55. 35. I'm a daughter. 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 I'm a daughter.